Hello everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place and recently I went to see the most fantastic play and possibly the most controversial play I have ever seen. So I went to see Bitter Wheat at the Garrick Theatre in London. It had only been open for a week when I went to see it. It opened on the 7th of June and I went to see it on the 14th. The main reason I went to see it, I won't lie, is because of John Malkovich. I've been a huge fan of John Malkovich since Con Air because who didn't love Cyrus the Virus? And I've loved him ever since. I think it's been something like 30 years since he's done a production over here. So as soon as Bitter Wheat was announced, I didn't even know what it was about. I booked it straight away. And boy, was I glad I did. I really struggle with plays usually. I am such a musical theatre goer, massive fan of musical theatre. and. I kind of struggle to keep my attention engaged in plays. I went to see All My Sons recently, Bill Pullman is one of my favourite actors as well as Colin Morgan, and although it was good and I appreciated how fantastic the acting was, I got a little bit bored. So I was really apprehensive about seeing this because I just have the attention span of a pea to be honest. So I was sitting at the front row of the Grand Circle, it was quite high up. But they weren't terrible seats and because it was the preview week they were only £30 each which I think was a steal especially seeing someone as fantastic as John Malkovich. So if you didn't know the play is based on Harvey Weinstein and the scandal that surrounded him. Now John Malkovich plays a character called Barney Fine. I feel like they may have wanted to call him Barney Feinstein but thought that was cutting it a little bit too close to the mark. The running time was an hour and 50 minutes. It did say it was roughly about two hours, including the 20 minute interval. So it is a reasonably short play, but it didn't start till 7.35 and we was out of there by 9.25. So it's about an hour and 50. It brings the origin of Me Too live on a stage. And I will admit, it's not an easy thing to watch. If you're looking for a lighthearted, easy to watch show, don't come to it. You need to go in to bitter wheat with the mindset that what you're about to watch isn't going to be fun, it isn't going to be comfortable and it can even be a little bit painful at times. You need to go in with that mindset. As it's been pitched it is massively controversial so you need to know that when you go in. Although you find yourself laughing at John Malkovich's wit and comedic timing because let's be honest he is absolutely hilarious in this but not hilarious like a comedian hilarious it is just more out of shock and feeling uncomfortable so you're laughing because you don't know if you should be laughing and you feel so uncomfortable so you just giggle because you're not sure what else to do it's that kind of comedy but you're supposed to feel that way this is supposed to make you feel uncomfortable it's supposed to spark conversations get you thinking about what's been happening and why this scandal set the Me Too movement in action and how much it has changed things. No spoilers, but there is a certain scene just before the end of Act 1 where everything comical is taken away from it. Everything is just completely stripped back and it is so tense. You could literally hear a pin drop in the theatre. It is that intense in that moment. So definitely watch out for that one because the things that need to be kept really serious are kept really serious. When it comes down to the real nitty gritty, they leave that completely raw and unstripped. And I think that's the most effective way to have it. No jokes, no laughter, just real complete tension. The laughter evaporating and just the mood completely changing, the atmosphere completely changing. It, there are moments in theatre where I just sit back and think, wow. And that was one of them. As I say, it's based on Barney Fine and he is pretty much exactly like Harvey Weinstein, I've got to be honest. And it's based on a young Korean actress coming over to the US, meeting Barney to work on her film Dark Water and kind of showing you what it's like for a young actress in Hollywood. I mean, the motto is Hollywood is a hellhole and it perfectly sums up the play. I don't really want to go more into the plot apart from that because I don't want to spoil it. I'm sure you kind of know how the story will unfold and what will happen and it's done perfectly. I really think it's been done in a just way. Barney is not a likeable character at all. You absolutely love to hate him. He wears a fat suit and throughout the play there are a lot of moments where he says that the reason that people don't like him and aren't attracted to him 
and all that stuff is because he is fat and I think that's kind of a joke on the audience because we see him as this disgusting man because he is vile, he's sexist, he's racist, he's misogynistic, just everything about his personality is vile but he makes so many jokes about it being all because he's fat and that is something that the audience gets a lot of laughs out of. This play makes you feel so many things. I was cringing, I couldn't watch some points, I had to look away, I cried, I laughed. There were a few quotes that I took away from the show and I, when the interval was on, I was quickly typing away thoughts on my phone and these are the two quotes that I kept. Women are people, which means they're stupid. And the second one was, you ruined my career, I'm a victim too. And that is what Barney says. And he genuinely believes it. Like, you can feel that he believes it and it makes you so disgusted with him that he genuinely thinks that he's the one that has come out the worst in this and that he feels like the things that he's done, he's paid too much for. The things that he done weren't as bad as what the world has made them seem and he really portrays that perfectly. It is just sickening. But those are the two quotes that I came away from thinking, Ugh, those two quotes sum it up perfectly. It's just brilliant and necessary. I don't really ever call plays necessary, but I don't think there's a word that sums it up more than necessary. We needed it. It is so current. It highlights what happens so perfectly. Just this guy genuinely thought he was this untouchable god, that nothing bad would come of him for whatever he did. He could just get away with it because he was rich and he was a man and he had a lot of power. And for the longest time, that was the case. And it was fantastic to see reality come crashing down around him, just like it did to Harvey. My husband isn't a big fan of theater, but even he loved this show. He thought Malkovich was brilliant and I think the same. I feel like it was his standout performance, the best I have ever seen him in a film or on stage. So in an interview, Malkovich said, it might upset people who have experienced the treatment that the play describes and that we watch. But isn't that the purpose? That's the purpose of it. It's uncomfortable, good. Take note, make change, do all those things, raise awareness of it. This play is just so ahead of its time already and we need more shows like this. The set is absolutely brilliant. You really feel like you're in some kind of presidential office. It feels really luxurious and plush. And there are a few set changes and it's very strange because they literally just put the curtain down for a minute mid act and you have a minute break whilst they change the set and I've never seen that before in a theatre production. It even comes with a little note when you walk in saying there are two one minute set changes in between the first act, which I thought was interesting because I've never seen it before, but really loved the set. I do want to see it again because obviously I only saw it in the first week that it came out and shows get better and better the more shows that they do. So I will definitely be going to see it again. It is probably the best play I've ever seen. John Malkovich is definitely the best actor I've ever seen perform. He was outstanding. If you go and get a chance to see it, please go and see it. Start conversations about it. It is fantastic. Absolutely loved it. But remember, go in knowing that it's a controversial topic and you may not agree with everything and that's okay, that's what you need to be talking about. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, hit that subscribe button or maybe hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. I hope you all have enjoyed this video, let me know what you'd like to see more of on my channel and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you!